All right guys, so for today's project, I will be using some half inch plywood. Here's all the dimension. I start with one of the two big planks. This will be the side of our wine rack. And you can see I've already made the line. My board have two different lengths, longer and shorter one. The shorter one will go on the inside and the longer one will go to the extremities. Then we complete with the back plate, but that's for later. I will glue the four shelf to my board with a four inches spacing between all the shelf. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple step. I put some wood glue on one side of my board, then I clamp the board in place, and I move to the next one. I repeat the same process until the four board are glued in place. Then I test fit the back plate, and we're all good. We can move to the next step. And what's the next step? Well, pretty easy. It's to glue the back plate in place. All right, it looks good. Next, we need to put the other side of the wine rack. I put some wood glue on all the edges, then I put the board on the top and I clamp everything together until the glue dry. Alright, now we need to add two more board so we can hold the wine glasses under the wine rack. Just like that. But before I glue them in place, I have to make notches to make sure that the wine glasses do not slip on the floor. So I have drilled three holes in my boards. It will be easier to make the notch at the right place using a file. One advice here, if I had to make this project again, I will put a little bit more spacing between all the notches so the wine glasses doesn't touch each other. Good, it's all smooth. Let's test it out. Now that our wine glasses are safe, we can move on to the next step and glue the board in place. And again, I'm using wood glue and clamps to hold them in place until the glue dry. When it's all dry, I make a test fit with a wine glass. Everything is looking good, so we can move on to the sanding. And using my mouse palm sander and some 120 sandpaper grit, I sand until everything is smooth. Alright, next we need to find a way to hang it on the wall. I start by marking the location of my hole. I will drill four holes using two different drill bit size. We will make what we call keyhole. It's a super simple way to hang stuff on the wall. The bottom holes are bigger than the top one. Then using my jigsaw, I remove the wood between both holes. And voila, we have some nice keyhole. We're ready to hang it on the wall. But before we do so, let's add some color. And for my wine rack, I decide to go with some black, water-based stain. It's super easy to apply, you just can't miss. And finally, the last step, the chalkboard. What I'm using here is a contact paper vinyl chalkboard. You can find this on Amazon, it's super cheap and it's super easy to apply. Way, way better than chalk paint. You just cut it to the right size, then you stick it to your project, and you finish by cutting all the edges. All right, installation time. First, I drilled two drywall anchor, then I had the screws, and finally, we can hang it up using the keyhole we drilled earlier. And we are done, guys. Put your favorite bottle and enjoy. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.